and um, now I would like to go through a few examples of um, uh, separable differential equations versus non-separable differential equations and their direction field. So is it possible to um, figure out whether the differential equation is separable by just looking at the direction field, all right? So the my fir first example, so here the differential equation is actually separable, right? So this is uh, something in terms of t times something in terms of y. Okay, and uh, let me to, um, to to explain what I mean is to try to find the set of zeros of the right hand side. So let us solve the um, equation y prime equals zero. Right? So in order for y prime to be equal to zero, um, y prime is the product of uh, five factors. Then any one of these uh, five factors can can happen to be zero. So t may be equal to one, t may be equal to negative two then y may be equal to to 0, or y may be equal to 1.5, or y may be equal to negative 2.5. So geometrically the collection of all these points is the set of uh, five lines. So this is vertical line, vertical line, horizontal line, horizontal line, horizontal line. Well, at the same time we can um, a look at the direction field. So if the different if the left hand if the right hand side of the differential equation is zero it means that the arrow on the direction field is exactly horizontal so let us look at all horizontal arrows here and we see that we see horizontal arrows along this line this is uh, y equals 1.5 horizontal arrows along this line horizontal arrows along this line horizontal arrows along this vertical line and horizontal arrows along this vertical line. So the set of zeros of the right-hand side has this structure. It is a collection of horizontal lines and vertical lines, right? So it means that if we did not know what the differential equation is, then by just looking at the um, at the direction field, we see that the the uh, set of zeros of the right-hand side it kind of it is consistent with the assumption that the, di the differential equation may be separable, right? So it means that we cannot rule out non-separability. So we see that by, by so the differential equation is, is definitely separable, which we see by, you know, by just looking at the differential equation. But if we do not know the differential equation and if we only look at the direction field, then we see that it may be separable. So here is another example, and, and here I suggest that you first look um, at the set of z uh, at the at the direction field, right? So let us look at the direction field and let us uh, find out all kind of um, the, the 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 set of points where the arrow is exactly horizontal, right? So if you stare at it long enough you will notice that uh, horizontal arrows they kind of live along this line and horizontal arrow the, the arrows they live along this line so uh, along lines y equals t and y equals negative t so we see that um, horizontal arrows they live along lines y equals t and y equals negative t well, uh, so the set of zeros of the right-hand side of this differential equation um, is the union of two lines, but these are uh, slanted lines, so they're not vertical lines or horizontal lines. It means that uh, the structure of the set of zeros of the right-hand side of this differential equation is not consistent um, with separability. So then by just looking at the direction field, we see that this OD is definitely not separable. And of course, we can confirm it by uh, looking at the differential equation itself. But here, we do not even need to know the differential equation. It's just by looking at the direction field, we see that it's definitely not separable. Mm, so here is my next example. And then, uh, now it is probably um, kind of not so so clear, right? But um, you, you, you can probably imagine that kind of in, in, s in, in this sort of area, 
um, so I, I will write pluses so here all arrows they, they point kind of um, kind of upward so which means that the right hand side of this, this differential equation is positive and and somewhere inside here all arrows they point downward so the right hand side of the differential equation is negative so I'll put minus signs but between plus and minus of course that there's going to be a zero and you see that the set of zeros of the right hand side it has a sort of a circular shape uh, you by looking at the differential equation itself you can see that yes it is exactly a circle of radius 2 centered at the origin but if you do not know the differential equation so you can only guess that it's kind of circular circulish uh, but what you definitely see is that the set of zeros of the right hand side does not have the, the structure right so um, set of zeros set of zeros of the right hand side it, it has the, this shape and not kind of collection of uh, horizontal lines and, and vertical lines right so and since it is not a collection uh, of vertical lines and horizontal lines it means that this differential equation is definitely not separable so here it is kind of like this maybe it is just a little bit uh, trickier to see what the uh, uh, set of zeros of the right hand side is but you, you can guess that uh, you know when whenever you have an arrow pointing downward it's the right hand side is negative when the arrow points upward the right hand side is positive so between positive and negative th there should be a zero so and you can can guess that the set of zeros of the right hand side is something like this this is called an asteroid but in any case since this is not the union of horizontal and vertical straight lines and something else other than horizontal and or vertical straight lines it means that by just looking at the direction field without even knowing the differential equation we can see that the differential equation is definitely not separable okay uh, here we see that uh, all arrows are that they point kind of upward right so here by looking at the direction field we see that the right hand side of our differential equation is, is positive for all values of t um, t and y right so it means that while well, all solutions uh, all solutions are increasing functions all solutions are increasing functions denoted by the, this double double arrow well but that that's all really that that we can see so the set of zeros set of zeros of the right hand side is just empty well uh, and this is consistent with the differential equation being um, separable it may be separable or it may not be separable you know so by looking at the direction field we see that yes it may be separable may be separable and the differential equation if you look at the differential equation itself then it is actually separable so but of course you know um, some some other differential equation may not be separable so if you have something like I don't know uh, say instead of the product you, you you have the sum something like y prime equals 1 plus t square plus cosine y over 5 then the right hand side is again non non negative um, okay maybe uh, I, I write 2 so that it is strictly positive so the right hand side does not have any zeros but th this is not separable right so th this is not separable right, so w what I want to say is that is that if the set of zeros of the right hand side is empty then well it may be separable or may, may not be separable we don't know yeah, and finally one more case so th this is kind of complicated so but in any case uh, if we look at the um, the direction field and if we look at the set of zeros of the direction field so the all the horizontal arrows they live along this horizontal straight line along this horizontal straight line and along this vertical straight line so this is actually the the correct structure of the set of zeros of the right hand side 
so which means that since well it has the structure of two horizontal lines and one vertical line so by looking at the direction field we see that it may be separable but the differential equation itself is actually not separable if you look at it so then it's not separable not well and the reason i mean the, the kind of the, this example was devised in a clever way because so notice that um the, the two straight um the, the three straight lines uh that are zeros of the right hand side so they are the, the following so this is the line y equals negative one this is y equals one and this is the line t equals zero but notice that if t equals zero then th this is just t and this uh multiply here it kind of it also if t is zero it becomes zero if t is zero right so in other words what we have is that um, our differential equation uh, the right hand side of our differential equation is the sum of two terms and either term turns to zero if t is zero but th the, the terms are kind of they're different so and one of them is not divisible by t so and we we cannot really um they, they they they're not going to simplify into just the, the product of something in t and something uh in in y well and and same uh same for y right so um so this turns to zero if y is is one and this turns to zero if y is one or actually negative one but I it's something that is not just simply uh y minus one times one plus one or one of them is but the, the other uh, term is, is something more complicated and e because of this we cannot re really factor it out and th this whole thing is not the product of something in t and something in y so th this differential equation is is not separable right so what i want to say is that uh if you look at the direction field and then if the set of zeros of the right hand side of the differential equation has the right structure which is this the union of uh, vertical lines and horizontal lines then the equation may be separable or may not be separable but if the set uh, of zeros of the right hand side is anything else but the union of vertical and horizontal straight lines then the differential equation is definitely not separable